Hi everyone. Welcome to my channel. In this Blender tutorial, we'll learn how to cut through a model and split the model into two separate objects. We have such a character model. Firstly, we'll use the bisect tool to cut through the model. Select the model and hit the tab key to switch to edit mode. Go over the knife tool in the left toolbar menu and hold down the left click to switch to the bisect tool. The bisect tool is a quick way to cut a mesh in two along a custom plane. Be sure that the geometry you want to cut is selected. Numpad 1 to switch to front view. Hold down the left mouse button and drag to draw a cut line. We can determine a cut angle by rotating the line. Leave the mouse button to confirm. If you are not happy with the result, you can adjust the cut line with this gizmo. You can rotate the line by the circle. You can also move the line by the yellow arrow. So the geometry will be cut through by the new loop cut. This will be a cutting plane to separate the object. Open up the bisect settings in the bottom left panel. If we enable the clear inner option, it will remove the geometry behind the plane. If we enable the fill option, it will create a new face from the loop cut. If we disable the clear inner option and enable the clear outer option, it will remove the geometry in front of the plane. If we enable all options, it will give us only the intersection plane. All right. What if we want to split the geometry into two different objects without removing the other one? To do that, let's disable all options. The loop cut should be selected. If you accidentally deselect the loop cut, hover over the line, hold down the Alt key, and select. Hold down the Shift and Alt keys to select the other section. Then, go to the Vertex menu, and rip vertices. The shortcut key is the V key. Hit the Enter key, then hit the right mouse button to confirm. Then, go to the Select menu, select Loops, and select Loop Inner Region. Z key to switch to wireframe mode. Press C key to activate the circle selection mode. Scroll down the mouse wheel to scale up the circle. Select all vertices above the cutting plane. Right-click to cancel the circle selection. Press P key and separate the geometry by selection. Z key to switch to solid view again. Tab key to switch back to object mode. Now, we can select and split the model into two separate objects. That's it. We can also fill the cut plane. Select the object and switch to edit mode. Hold down the Alt key to select the loop cut. Press F key to create a new face. Another problem is the shading. As you can see, the edges and the face have shading issues caused by the normals. To fix this problem, press Alt-N and split custom normals of the selected vertices. There we go. Another method of cutting through a model is the Boolean modifier. We need a mesh object to use for the Boolean operation. Press Shift-A and add a plane. S key to scale down a little bit. Switch to edit mode and hit the E key to extrude just a little bit. Go back to object mode. Move the plane on the Z-axis. Hit the R key to rotate. Select the object you want to cut. Click on the modifier tab and add a Boolean modifier. The Boolean method will be the difference because we will subtract the plane from the model. Select the plane as a Boolean object with the eyedropper. Apply the modifier. Select the plane and delete it. As you can see, the model has been divided into two parts, but they are still the same object. We need to separate them into two different objects. Select the object and switch to edit mode. Hover over the bottom part and press L key to select linked. Z key to switch wireframe mode. Activate the selection tool. Hold down the shift key and select the shoes also. Press P key and separate the object by selection. Z key to switch to solid mode. Tab key to switch to object mode. Now we can select and split the model into two separate objects. That's it. Thanks for watching. See you in the next tutorial.